welcome back to apple tree allotment come down here on sunday afternoon just after lunch to uh, do a few jobs um, i came down uh, friday and dropped off some soil improver from the um, recycling center um, there wasn't a lot there if, if you are local there wasn't a lot there they've had a big fire there in the bays so i'm not sure if they're producing a lot at the moment um, so there was hardly any there when i went um, but I did manage to get some boxes um, and I also brought down, I mowed the lawn last week and uh, brought down a load of grass clippings for the potatoes. Um, so that's cool. A um, few things doing well, a few things not so good this week. Um, rabbits have completely destroyed my leeks. They've dug a massive trench through the leek bed. So um, I think I'm going to have to, I might sow some at home, although I think it's getting a bit late. Um, and transplant them but a uh, yeah, good old rabbit has got in there must have got in the end and had a go at that um, but on the plus side in this bed the lettuce I sowed last year has decided to make a appearance so we've got a bit of a crop of lettuce going on along there which is quite nice um, so I might sow some more I've got some lettuce seeds with me so I might actually sow some more in here um, so that's one good thing. Um, the onion bed, some of the onions are looking good. There's a few that have not done, not looking quite so good at the moment, but there's quite a few in there. Um, I'm gonna today, one of the jobs I'm gonna do today is open up this netting. And um, there's a few potatoes growing in here and random things. So uh, I'm gonna pull those out, um, especially this big one that's growing next to the elephant garlic. I don't want that to swamp that. Um, same in the gar uh, un yeah, garlic beds. So there's quite a few potatoes growing in here. So I'll transplant them over the other side. Um, not so bad in this bed, but there's a few. There's three or four in there, so I'll get rid of them. But the garlic's looking good. Um, broad beans slowly starting to come up. Do a bit better. More potatoes in this one. I'll pull them out today. Um, that's half my job today, I think. Um, peas, similar story. There's some good, good peas in here. Starting to climb up the sticks. Um, but uh, yeah, a couple of big potato plants. Also vying for attention in there. This one looks a bit neater. Um, and then over this bit, the uh, potatoes. So I put the uh, grass clippings on these six beds here. Um, they're starting to come up. There's quite a few little shoots of potatoes coming up doing all right these ones stand back here are doing better these, are doing, these were the uh, first early so I guess you'd expect them to come up first but they're looking pretty good need to put some clippings on them next time I mow get around them over the other side um, strawberries all in flower it's really nice lots of lots of lovely flowers Coming up in there, um, so that's looking all right. And the raspberries are got nice leaves on now, growing up. Um, over here, so these four are empty at the moment. Um, the, the soil improver I got, so I'm going to put that. I need to decide either in this bed here or over the back there. Well, I'll have a look what I fancy doing today. Um, the beans we put in two weeks ago. Half of them look like they might have got too dry, actually. They sort of look like they dried out, and half of them are doing okay. Um, so I might have to fill in the gaps. I'm not sure if I've got bean seeds with me. I might have. Um, but if I have, I will sow them. Um, the rhubarb has taken a bit of a beating. A bit been nibbled by something. So I might have to come up with something to uh, protect that. Um, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest, because other people's don't seem to get eaten here. Um, so I don't know what's taken a liking to that. Um, and then the big potato bed across the back. There's nothing nothing really showing yet across there. That was two weeks ago that was sowed, so a bit early yet. Um, but still looking all right. Pretty weed free. There's a couple of little bits at this end. I'll just pull out. Um, yeah, so today's jobs. I brought down the rest of my saved potatoes from last year. Um, and I was going to clear up this bed pull out the weeds, 
Um, and there's a few forget-me-not plants in here, growing in here from somewhere. Um, so I might pull them out and put them in pots or move them somewhere. I quite like forget-me-nots. So uh, I'll clear up this bed and I brought down, I might put some of the soil improver on here just to give it a bit more depth. And uh, yeah, so the some more potatoes in there. Um, it's not an amazing bed anyway, so um, yeah, it's not going to be great for squash or anything. So uh, yeah, just chuck the rest of the potatoes in there. And then I brought down um, a couple of courgettes that I planted. So what they planted on the 16th of April. So they're looking, looking pretty good. So I'm going to get them out. I've got two out, I put out in the garden at home. I planted uh, probably a couple of weeks now ago now and they're doing all right so um, I think it's time they can go out um, put all my potatoes in here and I just bought a whole load of seeds um, there's loads of flowers in here for home and things but yeah um, some things I'm going to do in pots um, I have got some beans there actually some dwarf French beans so I might chuck some of them in that bed um, I've got some lettuce yeah so I might do some more lettuce might do those beans and we'll see how far we get with the uh, weather. So far it's it's cloudy, but it's, it's at least it's not raining today. Yesterday it rained all day long, a whole day. Um, so it was pretty wet out yesterday. Um, but yeah, hopefully today's gonna be right. It's supposed to be warmer this afternoon. So uh, get this done while it's not while it's quite a nice temperature. Um, yeah, so that's today's jobs. Be able to clear up a bit of a potato get the last potatoes in and uh, yeah, maybe do potter around doing some seeds as well I've been pottering around doing a few little jobs um, one of the big things I've done is I took the netting off the onions and I've cut it in half height wise um, and really put it all back on um, so that I can use the other half on this bed um, on the leek bed uh, that should be plenty high enough to keep the, the rabbits and pheasants and things out. It's the same height as I've got further down on uh, the peas and things like that. Um, so hopefully that'll still keep them out. And it means I've got this one protected as well a bit better. Um, having a look through here, they have, the rabbit has sort of dug up the leeks that were at this end. But I did notice there were um, quite a lot just growing up in the middle there um, where I sowed last time I was here so hopefully we'll get some from there I'll still try and sow some more but uh, at least we've got some growing um, and I've also got cleaned up all this bit put the weeds out um, and put our nice lettuce growing there so I'll probably sow another line there in a minute and um, so that's them two beds cleared um, and I've been slowing while in between doing that wire because it's quite hard to cut I've been having little breaks and pulling out the potatoes from these other beds um, and over the other side I've taken three of the boxes of soil um, and put it onto the new bed new potato bed and weeded my bin of weeds here so I've been weeding that um, and I've started putting the ones that I've pulled out, the decent ones that I've pulled out. There's some of the smaller ones I've chucked away, but uh, the ones that look healthy and got a nice little potato root, I've put there um, and I'll continue. I've got a few, quite a few more to pull out, so that'll probably fill half that bed, I should think. Um, and then I've got more seed potatoes anyway. Yep, so I'm gonna carry on digging up some more potatoes where they shouldn't be and transplanting them. I finished planting up this potato bed in the back corner so all of the ones you can see are ones that I've transplanted um, and then I've planted another about 10 in here so another one two another row there and I put a few along the back as well um, that were just seed potatoes from last year so that beds all planted up we'll see how well they do after being transplanted um, I've put some of the uh, that soil improver on there so hopefully giving it a bit more depth um, and I'll obviously chuck some more on later or some grass clippings or whatever I've got. Um, that's all done. Um, over here I found this uh, green umbrella um, mesh in the uh, shed I forgot we had. Um, it is a bit bent because last year in those, we had that really big storm 
towards the end of the summer, I think it was. Um, and it actually ended up in the uh, plot right by the road. So it's probably maybe 50 to 100, I don't know, somewhere between 60, 70 foot away. But it blew a long way, so it's a little bit bent. But uh, it, at least that should protect that, that uh, rhubarb from rabbits, assuming it's that. Um, obviously, if it's slugs or something, then they're probably doomed anyway. But uh, it's worth a go. Um, so that's that sorted out. Um, I finished cleaning up all these beds over here. So I've got all the potatoes that have self set out of the broad beans, the peas, uh, the garlic and the onions. They're all looking a lot tidier. A lot of gaps in these. Um, I'll, I haven't got any peas with me, but next time I come down, I'll bring some more pea seeds and fill in some of those holes. At home, I've got a tray full of broad beans that are very leggy. Um, in pots, which I were gonna, was going to throw away, um, but I'm thinking I might chuck them in the gaps here um, and see how we get on. You never know, do you? Um, these beds have been cleared up. At some point, I'll have to cut these um, frames down as well. They're too high to lean over. I just sort of had to cut off one corner and lean in, but uh, that's probably a job for another day. Um, and then these beds here, so these are all nice and tidy now. It looks really nice. Um, I've just brought over some uh, lettuce, a little gem lettuce. Um, and I was just going to do a, a row along here. Um, just use this space for now while the leaks are getting going. And we can always cut and, cut and come again, use it up. Um, I always pull them up later on. It's one of those things that once it gets going, it we seem to have an end of supply, but it's... Uh, a little way off yet till it uh, till it crops too much so uh, yeah i'll get a couple of rows maybe in one two rows in um, while the leaks get going and then uh, at least we're using that space for a bit next up this bed by the beans i've just um weeded this bed and i've put the two boxes of um, soil improver on the top so it magically looks wonderful again um giving it a bit more depth, a bit more nutrients, hopefully. Um, I've got these two courgette plants, so I'm gonna put these out. I am gonna need some netting or something for these. So I'm gonna get these in and then I know I've either got some green netting, some that stuff you can drape over something. So either I can make a little frame or if not, I'm back to cutting more fences down. But yeah, we'll see, let's get these in and I'll have a look around the plot. I've got them courgettes in the ground. I cut back one of the uh, garlic beds, cut down the height of the, the netting. I know I've got blisters from doing all those, but uh, I think it's worth it for these uh, courgettes to get going this year. But last year they just got decimated when I put them out, um, even with little bits of chicken wire around them and things. So uh, hopefully this will help, give it a go. So I've got a fence, it's not quite big enough for these beds, um, the beds on the other plot are a bit smaller, um, but they will fit the, the beds the potatoes are in at the moment. So next year, when I sort of swap over spacing, they will fit those beds. Um, so, not a waste, but that's good. Glad to get them in, see how they're doing next week or whenever I can get down. Um, I've got quite a few more at home and I need to start sowing some um, butternut squash and things as well so I'll get them started at home in the next week or so hopefully um, along with some sweet corn so I've still got um, I've got a bed there whatever I do with that um, I might end up just sowing in the ground in there maybe some pumpkins or something I've got those two beds although the path has disappeared so I need to do something with that and I've got the kids bed still to sort out needs a weed and some soil some compost um, it has got like the other side, it has got some lettuce, some Bolo Rosso, I think that is, the red one. Um, it has got some lettuce growing in it from, that we sowed last year. So uh, that's nice to see. Um, so courgettes are in, netted up loads of stuff, potatoes are in, cleaned up all the beds, got some lettuce in. I'm gonna sow some bean seeds next, I think. So the gaps in here, I might just sort of go crazy with a load of beans in there. And uh, I'll put a row out here as well see how they do um, yeah so I'm just gonna plant a load of beans in there see how they get on um, 
And then other than that, I do have some charred seeds that I'd like to put somewhere. Um, maybe over there. But again, it's a case of netting because that definitely will get eaten. Um, so yeah, let's get the beans done and then I'll uh, have a think about that one. I've had a little potter about for a little while. I've just planted up some um, some seeds, some little flowers in this little pot. Just put a bit of colour down the plot and uh, I've given this raspberry bed a bit of a weed. Uh, mainly all the sort of uh, bindweed stuff because it grows up the raspberries and gets all tangled in it and hard to clear up. Um, I've done that, a little clean up. I'm going to plant the, I'm going to sow the chard seeds at home I think. Um, I'm going to do sweet corn, chard, um, butternut squash, um, yeah I think that's it on sunflowers. I'm going to do it at home as well. Um, so yeah, a bit of a potting section session either later today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, achieved a lot, got loads of beans in there, There's got courgettes in, potatoes in, it's all looking good and cleared up over this side. So I've now got nice clean bed so nothing's getting, I was worried about the potatoes sort of taking over the, the peas and the beans and things. So uh, got that cleared up, that's all looking really nice and tidy now. So that's good, um, got some lettuce in over there. Oh yeah, I need, do need to find some leek seeds as well, see if I've got some more of those. Um, but yeah, generally all looking really neat and tidy and uh, things growing away nicely. I do need to have a project at some point to sort out those flower beds. I moved one of the forget-me-nots plants over into that bed um, and I put the other one by the apple tree actually underneath it. But the one with the daffodils in it is just full of nettles again. Um, so yeah, I have to decide what to do with that, whether just to give up on it, get rid of it, or to uh, plant it up with something. Um, yeah, but other than that, just having a little bit of a drizzle now. The sun's starting to go, it's nearly four o'clock, so I've been here nearly four hours. And uh, yeah, happy with what we've got done today. Hope you're all having a nice time in your gardens and plots and things and getting outside. It's starting to warm up now, so uh, hopefully all this stuff will start taking off now and uh, start seeing the fruits of our labor a little bit. Yeah, hope you're all keeping well and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.